Hello people and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to do some basic exploitation. I have a I have a Windows 7 as my target machine and my Parrot Linux as my attacking machine. So today I'm going to demonstrate how you can exploit a Windows target using a simple technique called a HTA attack method. Okay. So before we proceed, I just want to to say that these videos are in the context of ethical hacking. Yeah, hacking is legal. If, if I'm not liable for any any misuse of information that we'll get from this video. Okay. So let's let's kick in. So I'm going to run Metasploit framework. Sorry, what am I doing? MSF console sudo password. So I'm going to demonstrate in two ways. The first one is we are going to use Metasploit framework to carry out the attack. Then I'm also going to use set toolkit to also carry out the same same attack. The attack will be similar in a way, but we are just going to demonstrate using two different tools. So I'll control shift T to open a new tab, sudo set toolkit, sudo password. So this attack is very, very easy. As I'm going to demonstrate right now, so let me just wait for the Metasploit framework to open up. So basically what we are going to do, we are going to create a malicious.hta file that we are going to send to the victim machine, which once they click on it, they should they will be presented with a download of a HTA file. If they click on that file, we are going to automatically get access to that machine. So in my Metasploit framework, I'm going to do search HTA. Then I'm going to use this one exploit windows miscellaneous hta server so it's manual doesn't support check and description it's a simple hta web server so i'm going to you remember you can use three sorry two or you can just grab the whole thing if you want so whichever you want so i'm just i'm lazy i'm going to use two then we shall leave the payload as it is we just let it use the default Windows Metaplater Reverse TCP. Now I can do options. Then we have the server host here. So I'm going, the server host is the local host or network interface to, see, to listen on. This must be an address on the local machine or the 0, the 0 is to listen on all channels. So I'm going to do uh, set SRV host, server host. I'm going to input the IP the my car in my parrot linux machine ip 168018 then what else do we need to put nothing if i do options again sorry it is case sensitive no capital letters options then everything has been set we are going to leave to leave as it is l port 444 then i'm going to do run now so this is the malicious uh, link that we are going to grab and send it to the victim machine that will be a Windows 7. So you can use social engineering techniques here to try and send this file to the victim machine. But for simplicity of demonstration purposes, I'm just going to grab it. I'm going to grab it, copy it, then go to the Windows 7 machine. I'll open the browser here, Internet Explorer. Paste the link, then enter, and that is guys. So it will ask, it will prompt us to download this file. So if you are, this is where now you get tricked. Social, this is why social engineering applies. So if you are never keen while downloading files on the internet, this is the simplest way a hacker can get into your machine. So if I just do open, you will see that there's nothing. We can't see anything going on. 
But if I come to my machine, my attacking machine, there's something going on, all right? It's delivering the payload. We have a metaprinter session one opened. So if I control C, do sessions. Now I have a metaprinter session here open. I can interact with it. Sessions that I followed by the ID number. That is one. And right that, like that's like that. I'm in the system, guys. Okay. So if I wanted to if I wanted to know if I have root privileges, I can drop it to a shell. Then I can do who am I? And I'm administrator. So there's no need even for me to do privilege escalation. Okay. So uh let me just get out of it. So that's that's the simplest way to hack using the, to hack a Windows PC with the HTA attack method using Metasploit framework. Now the other one is using using a uh, set toolkit. So in set toolkit we are going to do social engineer, social engineer attacks, then website attack vectors, then number seven, the HTA attack method. Okay. So I'm going to do site cloner. I'm I will go. I'm going to clone a site. Then I can use www. I'm going to clone Facebook. Facebook.com. Then IP address or URL of for the payload listener L host. That is my attacking machine. So I'm, my IP is 192.168.018. So I can just type it or I can just enter. Then we are going to let it use the default port 443. Now I will have to select the payload that I want to deliver. I personally like number three, Metaplata Reverse TCP, but you can use the other, you can even use one. One is, is also particularly effective if you want to evade uh, firewalls and intrusion detection systems. So I'll just use number three for demonstration. Then it will start generating the injection code. Then it will it will start it will launch also Metasploit framework for you. So Setul Kit has just created the fake site and the the payload, but it is the Metasploit framework that will actually do the exploitation. So it will start the Metasploit framework for us. Now we are listening on this IP address. That is our attacking machine on port 443. So I'll go to the Windows 7 machine. Then I can type my IP 192.168.0.18.443. Sorry, I don't know. 192.168.018. No, no. It's not, it's not port 880. Come on. Oops. I thought my machine had just done. Yep. So that's it. In the background, you'll see a fake Facebook page, login page. At the same time, you'll be prompted to open a file. So, you, guys, you need to be very, very, very keen. So, we are we are doing two attacks here. We have just created a fake Facebook login page. So, if you access this malicious site, you'll also be prompted to open, save this launcher.htf file. So, if I just go and open it, come on. My machine is freezing. So I'll just open it. Come on, baby. No, no, no. Nothing is going on yet. My virtual machine is hanging. So if I do one nine two 
again open it yep and it's also encoding the payload with the shikata deny encoder to evade the possible antiviruses or security mechanisms on the target machine and just like that we have a meta presentation too if i do control c oh i have called i have exited the set toolkit but guys that's we already had a meta meta preta session to open on the target machine and that's like just like that we get access to the target machine so that is just two ways you can your windows machine can be hacked with a simple hta file so guys i hope you have learned something today please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like in my videos i'm going to more and more videos of this type are coming so trust me you don't want to miss them thank you for your time thank you for taking time to watch my videos i hope to see you in the next video thank you and god bless